first person that's spoken to me since my son and I moved here from Minnesota. Called your son Bobby, he's 19. That's a good age. You're a cougar. What the hell are you doing on top of my mom? I'm so sorry you had to see that. You didn't know that guy very well, did you? He was just in every single one of my classes. Sebastian. Hey, aren't you Renee's kid? Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Your mom and I are really good friends, Bobby. She talks about you all the time. It's Robert, by the way. Did you give your mom my message that I called about going out tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, she's uh, coming down with something, so she's not going to be able to make it. What can I get you, bud? Uh, I'm going to take a scotch on the rocks. You got it. You know what? Uh, hold the rocks and make it a double. Uh, you're what? Scotch straight up. It's very manly. Thank you. So your mom was telling me you're not too crazy about her hanging out with the cougar crowd. It wasn't exactly great walking in on my mom with a kid my age. And? Uh, well. Um. But I look at the flip side, and I find older women very attractive. Sure. These cougars are like parasites. Oh, they suck. What is it about uh, younger guys that you find so attractive? They're easy to manipulate. Manipulate? Yeah, you see, guys my age are set in their ways. But a young man, you can get to be or do anything. Are you saying you find me attractive? Uh, uh. Do you want to kiss me? I'd appreciate it. What kind of friend would I be to Renee if I took advantage of her son? Would be a really, really good one. On the mom, aren't you? Well, no, I feel fine. But I got the call from Bobby. He said you guys weren't going out. That's too bad. I'll call you tomorrow. Have a good night. Where's your jacket? Did you come here tonight trying to get back at your mom? Yeah. I mean, you know, in all honesty, it started out that way. You know, you're a really beautiful woman. We both have a secret to keep. Hey, John, this kid here is uh, a kid. I think he got in with a fake ID. What? No, man. Well, let's see it, bud. Uh... <clears throat> Here's the deal, Arsenio Hollingsworth. You're gonna take a cab home tonight, and I'm not gonna see you around here for another couple of years, okay? Oh, but I. All right, I'm All right, thanks. Ugh. <sighs>